Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a very basic calculator in Python. We're basically going to build a calculator where we'll get two numbers from a user and then we'll add those numbers together and print the answer out onto the screen. So this will give us some practice in getting input from users and we'll also talk about getting numbers from users as opposed to just strings. So I'm really excited to uh, get started on this calculator. The first thing we want to do is create two variables and inside of those variables we want to store the two numbers that the user wants to add together. So down here I'm just going to say num1 and that's what we'll call our first variable is equal to and now I need to get input from the user so I'm going to say input and inside these parentheses I'm going to say enter a number. And now I basically want to do the same exact thing, but for the second number. So we'll paste this guy down here and I'm just going to say num2 and then we'll just say enter another number. So now we're able to store the user's input inside of these two variables. So now all I want to do is just print out the result. So I'm actually going to create a variable called result. So I'm just going to say result is equal to and basically we just want to add these two numbers together so I'm going to say num1 plus num2 and now all we have to do is just print out the result so I'm just going to print result so we basically have our entire program written out here and this will allow us to enter in two numbers and then we'll add them together and print out the answer so I'm going to click play and down here we can enter our number so I'm going to enter the first number we'll say five and I'm going to enter my second number. So let's say 8.0 or let's say 8.3. So now it should print out the answer. But if you look over here, that's not quite the answer we were looking for, right? 5 plus 8.3 is definitely not 58.3. And here's what happened. When we get input from a user by default, Python is just going to convert it into a string. So it doesn't matter what we put down there when we're entering the numbers. Python's always just going to be like, okay, this is a string. That's it. Sounds good, right? It's just going to make it a string. In order for us to make these num1 and num2 variables numbers, we're actually going to have to convert the strings that we get from the user into numbers. And so the way that we can do that is by basically just coming over here and when we add the two numbers together, I can use a special Python function in order to convert those strings into numbers. And there's actually two Python functions that we could use for this. The first is called int. So I could say int, I can make an open parentheses and I can make a close parentheses. And basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna convert whatever is inside of these open and close parentheses into an integer number. And an integer number is basically a whole number. So it's like one, two, three, four, five. So it's a, it's a whole number. In other words, it can't have a decimal point. Um, and so what I could do is I could say int and I could put these inside of parentheses. And now what this is going to do is it's going to convert both of these numbers into integers. In other words, into whole numbers that don't have decimals and it's gonna add them together and we'll print out the result. So why don't we do that and we'll just see if this works. So I'm gonna click the play button and down here we'll enter our first number. So I'm just gonna enter in a four and then I'll enter in a five. And now you can see it's printing out the correct answer, four plus five. And so that's essentially our basic calculator. But we do have one problem with this calculator. So I'm gonna run it again and I'll show you guys what that problem is. If I wanted to add in a decimal number, so we'll add 4.3 and 5.5, you'll see that we're getting this error. And that's because I'm using this int function up here. And this int function is looking for a whole number. So if I put decimal numbers inside of there, it's gonna break the program. There's another function we can use. Instead of an int, we can say float. And a float is basically just a number that has decimal. So it's a decimal number. And so I can convert both of these guys into floats. And now I'll be able to use decimal numbers. So I can click play and I can just enter in some numbers. So I could say like four and I could also say like 5.5. 5. 
And now it's gonna be able to add both of those numbers even if one of them's a decimal. And that's the beauty of using that little float function. So in certain circumstances, you might want the user to only be able to enter in an integer, so a whole number. But in a lot of cases, like in this calculator, we want them to be able to enter any number that they want. So we're gonna use this float function. So I'm just gonna recap what we did one more time. We created two variables, num1 and num2, and we basically stored the two numbers that the users inputted into those variables. And then we converted them into numbers and we added them together and we printed out the results. So this is a pretty cool calculator. I'm happy with it. Hopefully you guys learned something. And as we go forward in this Python course, you're gonna learn all sorts of ways that we can make this calculator more complex. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.